10 minutes after six now, speaking at the United Nations in New York City, typically reserved for war leaders and various dignitaries. But today, that honor goes to a group of students at Ansonia High School. Real special story we have for you here this morning. News 8's Ken Houston joining us live there this morning, explaining exactly what they're doing. Hi, Ken. Good morning. Good morning to you as well, Laura. Yes, this school is one of seven that will be heading to the Big Apple today. Later this morning, they will appear before the UN to basically advocate for the rights of members in the LGBTQ community. And join us right now to talk about this is Michaela Mosley Williams. You're one of the students who are heading off uh, to the Big Apple this morning, right? I am. All right, tell us about your organization and your message that you will be sending today. Well, our organization began last year when we got a grant from It Gets Better Project, one of 10 schools to get it, two years in a row. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so we decided that it would be very important to take not only our school, but many schools in the Valley so that all LGBTQ students in Connecticut had the opportunity to learn about their history and go to the UN and learn about that history. All right, you'll be learning, but is there a message that you're taking there as well? that equality should be spread everywhere. That equality should be spread everywhere. As it relates to this $10,000 grant, how is it going to be used? The $10,000 grant was funded to travel all of us to the UN, as well as prepare our meals when we get there and all the excursions that we will be doing once we get there. All right, thank you very much for joining us this morning and best of luck to you. And of course, we'll be uh, talking to the students throughout the morning to find out more about their mission of advocacy. We're live in Ansonia this morning. Ken Houston, News 8, back to you guys there in the studio. Wow.